Andy Bell's here. Watch out. Hello. You all right? Yes, thanks. Good. Um, thanks for coming in tonight. How do, I, I must ask you this. So we were talking about it just now. How <clears> do you get the inspiration? How do you write that ultimate three-minute pop song, which everyone goes crackers over? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's just sort of like picking four tunes out or something and then st uh, sticking them all together and putting words to them. You know, mm -hmm. like when you're on the toilet, picking up the bleach bottle. <laughs> I think you might go and sort of like... Do you mess stars? Yeah, just reading the words out and sort of like, and singing them. You know, like going, uh... Capture the atmosphere of swinging 60s when London was the centre of the musical universe. Yeah, but that like was that. on your album, that. Oh, have yeah. I heard that one before? So it really is, it just, it just happens. You, yeah. you can't teach people, though, can you, to write... You, you've got, it's got, something's got to be there. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you can't be taught. It's, it's sort of uh, intuition. Right. Is it true that, you know, when Erasure was being put together, you know, when you, <clears throat> you went for the audition, were you 43rd in, I was reading? There was like a huge number yeah, there of people. Was, um, well, there was only like 45 people, and uh, I was the 43rd, and I evinced that he got the job. I mean, I got the job because I was. Uh, like one of the youngest people that went along and stuff mm -hmm. like that. What did you have to do at that? Because that must have been pretty uh, an, an ordeal, you know, that, knowing that there's all these people thinking, Christ, I wonder if, he, if he's got it, I wonder if he's yeah. got it. I was, I was really looking forward to it. So I'd done auditions before anyway. Mm -hmm. and I've been living in London for about two years, and one of the first ones that I went to was actually at the studio where Vince and the Mute Bands used to rehearse. Right. So like, I thought, oh, it's Depeche Mode in there, you know. And uh, 600 people turned up for this... Uh, first audition that I went to and they picked six people out of those so I went again for one of the six and I didn't get it because I didn't have any experience but that's what Vince was looking for right. uh, lack of experience so what do you like best do you like um, touring or do you like it when you're really in that <coughs> studio or do you like it like your the erasure videos always seem like they're having a, you're having a right right a good laugh well, you, the, the videos only usually take a day, you know, and we, we just want to get them over as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So we make it look like we're having a good time, you know. <laughs> now, now, Vince has, 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 had, has been in, you know, like three bands, hasn't he? He, was, he, he calls himself the X-Man, doesn't he? Yeah. X, uh, well, Yazoo, what... and this. How long do you have a life for uh, Erasure? Do you see, right, a couple more years or...? Um, I do. I mean, it, to me, I mean, it, it's always something you get sort of like very paranoid about and you say, oh no, how long can this go on for and stuff like that and, and with Vince's reputation and things, you know, but I mean, we feel pretty solid at the moment, you know, and I thought, well, there's comfort in uh, songwriting partnerships like Paul Simon and Garfunkel and stuff like that. So hopefully in 10 years time we'll still be hearing Erasure Hits. Yeah, hopefully. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming on tonight. And uh, we hear on the grapevine that the uh, Crackers International EP is steaming up the network chart. Should be top five Sunday. So well done. Thanks a lot. We'll be back in a couple of ticks with more music, more chat, and the latest from the world of the football fanzines. But